They are three of 54 young Baha'is in Iran who were arrested two years ago for propaganda against the state. This past November, they were rearrested and sentenced to four years in prison. The young people were involved in a program, a humanitarian program, to educate underprivileged children. And they were working with a non-governmental organization in the southern city of Shiraz. In reaction to international concerns over this incident, Iran's foreign ministry responded, religious minorities enjoy freedoms, including religion and education. While Baha'is are Iran's largest religious minority, the constitution does not recognize their faith. And universities have not been admitting students who identify themselves as Baha'is. One leaked confidential letter shows the Ministry of Science, Research and Technology banning Baha'is from 81 universities in the country in 2006. But Baha'is have always found a way to get educated. The faculty who were not permitted to teach would then begin to teach the students who were not permitted to learn. And they organized themselves initially out of garages and living rooms and, uh, and had courses in accounting, in dentistry, in chemistry, in, in business administration. Eventually, that created the Baha'i Institute for Higher Education, which the government attempted to shut down in 1998. A decade ago, 29-year-old Pega Parvini studied there part-time. The degrees that this institution grants are not acceptable by the outside community. They don't recognize our university. And so it makes it very difficult to be able to use the knowledge you, um, at, you obtain in schools. So at the age of 20, Parvini had to leave Iran and continue her higher education in the United States to become a patent consultant. But she and her family still feel a special connection to home. Iran is a precious country for Baha'is. Iran is uh, where uh, Baha'u'llah, the founder, prophet founder of Baha'i faith, was born. So many Baha'is feel um, very connected to Iran. They don't want to leave. They um, struggle but stay. And in that same country, they also found an ally. If it were not for the Muslims of Iran, who are friends and neighbors and family of the Baha'is, it would not be possible for the Baha'i community to survive under the kinds of conditions that it has had to experience over the last almost 30 years.